Okay, a glance at the French ingredients for the ROI alchemy to take place. Uh, of course, there's only a glance because we have 10 minutes. We've seen many initiatives, we are interesting, all of them. Uh, I'll try to make it within the 10 minutes. Uh, first, the French hubs. Uh, we are all Science Centre. Well, Science Centre, if you've seen it from the previous presentations, already are hubs uh, between oh. civil societies, uh, sta uh, different stakeholders, uh, researchers, policy makers. We do work with all these people on a daily basis almost. Um, but I don't want to talk really about the hubs now. I, don't want, I really do want to show you three practices. It's quite a challenge. And I'm going to start now. Oops. This way. Um, I have three examples of promising practice, a structure, a program, and an approach of doing things. Uh, so, so science is a small startup that uh, was uh, settled two years ago, so it's pretty young, by two uh, um, researchers or doctors. Uh, and they're aiming at creating partnership with laboratories, engineering schools, social entrepreneurs, hard to say, and companies to launch responsible projects. I mean, they're calling, they are aiming at doing responsible research and innovation, and it's quite rare, actually, to have that label uh, from the start in a company. Um, the example I'm going to show you is the toy for autistic children. Uh, uh, then there's the Ile-de-France PICRI program. Uh, PICRI stands for, pro uh, sorry, um, it's a program that's aiming at funding research. Uh, project built upon partnerships between scientists and citizens or NGOs, uh, with an example as well. And then living labs, I'm not going to describe what living labs are. We've been seeing some sort of examples of, of what it could be. Uh, it's just about engaging everyone in technical and science innovation from the very beginning, even from the idea sometimes. And I'll try to show you really fast for three examples. They're also displayed in the atrium as well, so you'll be able to have some time to see them more. Uh, so, so science, um, that's how they define themselves. Um, they have expertise, they offer support, and they're a factor of change. They're the first company in, uh, in France which is specialized in responsible innovation. Oh, you have to pretend you can read uh, in the black line. They're helping private and public sector to develop and achieve ARI, RI project, responsible innovation, but with research in it as well. And they're creating new research partnership between social entrepreneurs and researchers, which is not very used uh, yet in France at the moment sometimes, uh, because they come from two different backgrounds, different languages, and you need somebody in between to help them talk to each other, understand uh, each other's issues and time. Um, so this is uh, Moki. It's uh, an example of one of the projects driven by SoScience. Uh, it is... Um, Smart toy for autistic children um, because autistic children have trouble processing faces, uh, which means they have trouble understanding emotions from other people and sharing emotions as well, their own. Um, and there is no medication for autism at today. Uh, so that's uh, the design that was made by researchers, uh, doctors, children, developed by Lika, which is in the black line. Um, uh, which is uh, together with so science, so that's what it looks like. It enables kids to communicate through that sphere. Um, all data is open source and uh, available for doctors, researchers, and parents to be used uh, for further research. So that was an example of one of the projects so science driving. Um, so another initiative. Oops. You. No, not get out. The partnership between institution and citizen for research and innovation uh, launched by the Ile de France region. It aims at involving NGOs in research processes, contributing to diversification of research topics, some topics that are not always in the labs because they're not in the usual policy and research can be developed thanks to this uh, tool. Expand dialogue between the research world and civil society. Uh, PICRI was launched in 2005, so it's a 10 years program now. Um, the project are funded and organized by the region, but they are selected by an independent committee, right? And it's about 115 projects that have been launched since the beginning of the program. They are three years projects on different societal topics, 
and uh, 10 years after, uh, it's about 115 projects funded, 1.13 uh, million euros spent on the different projects, and a PhD student uh, working to evaluate the program itself. So it has quite a few ingredients, CRI ingredients uh, within it all. And uh, it's been already spreading uh, so it is replicable. It has been spreading in four regions uh, in France, and we have a representative here of the PICLI program who will be able to answer all your questions if you have any. Um, this is really fast, an example of one of these projects. Uh, it's an online tool to make the parliament activity visible and understandable to all. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in France, I, don't, I just don't understand, and I did start understanding. The aim of the study first was to study the Parliament's amendment activities to quantify and qualify the institution role in lawmaking, science, research. Um, it's a team of three different type of partners, technical, NGO, and research, uh, on that aim. But the aim gave, well, this project gave birth to websites. If you speak French, don't go there if you don't, unless you have a couple of hours to spend. Um, shows you, uh, you can follow the discussion depending on the different policy uh, parts. Uh, you can choose different topic of laws, find the chronology, and you do have the, read, the fully recorded debates. Uh, if you start reading that, you realize policymakers are just normal people, and they talk like normal people as well in this debate. Uh, so that's an example of two, and we're talking about making, uh, being open and making things accessible as well, and that is an example of how it can be done. Thir third example is uh, Living Lab in Science Centers. Um, I'm going to talk about like six science centers in France that got engaged together to reevaluate their um, role towards so science and society within uh, the immediate project using um, digital tools to do that, like as tools, but also as a way of doing things, the philosophy that goes together with some of those tools. Um, because Science Center's role is to create space of shared knowledge and consciousness, not only for the public, but for research businesses, for society at large, because anybody can you know, ask themselves questions and, and question the world around themselves. And Living Lab in Science Center should be more also than evaluation of prototypes by end users, like it could be done sometimes in businesses. Uh, so Science Center, they can be hubs where researchers, innovators, artists, citizens can think, debate, and work together. Real work, not like fake work, pretending to work. Real work can be done in there uh, when it comes to research and innovation. So the living labs are in position to inter interrogate the merit of any innovation or research yet to come. It's not only to make things, but to interrogate and, and think about what you're doing. Uh, so that researcher and innov innovators can then make the decision in a full awareness. But the decision is still theirs, probably. Uh, three real fast examples. You have the name and you can look it up on the internet afterward if you're interested. Uh, Experimenta, it's an event uh, that's transforming a collaboration between researcher, business and artists into an event. It's years collaboration, sometimes including end users, sometimes not. And then for three d days, all these ideas or prototypes are presented to a larger audience uh, to be tested uh, through workshop that can last for between 10 minutes to three hours. One and minute left. What? One minute left? Perfect. Thank you. No, that's about it. Uh, Nouvelle Page is a project of exploring collectively new interaction between comic books and digital technology. We're more on the technical side. Again, together as a project with end users within the project from the start. And the Papi Uraba is a collective project of all the six centers in the immediate project uh, built together an open source robot and discussing its potential use. It's going to be uh, going on for about a year starting now, so with many events. Uh, and associating the building and making with the thinking and interrogating um, technology. Uh, so here there are, there's much more, um, but they are representative of the ingredients. We have a right dedicated partners for researchers and businesses, help them talk to each other also and work in the ARI dimension. We do have founding programs and policymaker engagement. And we do have citizen involvement that can uh, trigger a larger mentality change 
We do have all the ingredients. Oops. One second. <laughs> I do have. Um, we do have all the ingredients, yet error is not all over the place because uh, for a recipe to work, you don't only need ingredients, you will all need the proper amounts of everything, and that's maybe what's still missing, and that's error I tool will bring. Uh, and that's also from the workshop consultation, maybe stronger visibility for some different level of engaged policymakers and facilitation for NGOs and individuals to engage in European project or larger project in general. Um, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>